Yeah, I gotta go. Hey, ciao. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. To prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki.
seemed like a good idea when I grabbed the truck. about your driving, asshole! Bill, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for a fever and ass. You know the one I need. Let me wait here. You're killing us, man. You people are heading towards the Dark Ages. Up until the 1950s, this country was sick, diseased with worry. We helped usher in change with drugs perfect for an America coping with anxiety due to the Civil Rights Movement. You guys want to take us back to home medicine? Please, you won't kill people with your nonsense. The fact is, the only thing that makes people better is drugs. Not hokum pokum, not shitting in a bag and sleeping with my dad. Narcotics are what matters. Drugs. Hey, you Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardtack. He'll call you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house for a fever head in Winston. That's uh, very kind of you. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. 
That's always been this family's problem. Fun, good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches, working for guineas, working for niggers, any asshole with a buck, a whole lot spent in a proper manner, oh yeah, wine and women as quick as possible, and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Incheon Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. We're going to eat. Here we are. Thank you very much. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. They put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of the crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Yourself and me. Was there ever a time you really wanted something and it didn't work out quite as you imagined? Or have you ever been in a relationship or professional situation that did not work out perfectly? Or possibly a feeling in your stomach that something is about to go wrong? And this you're wondering, how does she know all these things about me? Oh, what is a gift. A gift I learned roaming the streets of Eastern Europe, having lots of kids, and earning money by 
dance in a friendly violin. You see, I can divine the magical powers of the stars and numbers like pi. I read the wind and the tides to tell the future. I know skeptics scoff, but that is why they live such shallow and loveless lives and often end up dying. Whereas I'm immortal, more or less. Don't let science blind you with steps. There is a sixth sense and a third eye, cells you don't even know about, and I have both. Let's go to this. Two one two three six zero two three six seven. Hey, uh, Beatrix, I listened to your show on the old station um, before you got thrown off. I am so glad you're back. I wanted to ask you about my boyfriend. Don't tell me. I can feel a very powerful force. Even before you spoke, I knew you were a woman of relationship troubles. Is your boyfriend the source of the trouble? Well, yeah. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm hearing things from the spirit world. You'll be too loud. No, there it goes. It's going really quiet. What's your name, dearie? Don't tell me. It's a girl's name. It begins with a letter. It's not Rosa, is it? Uh, no, it's... I knew it was not Rosa. This was the name of the peasant woman who's... Yes, Martina. That was my next guest. The spirits were telling me both. Hello. Ancient people sought meaning in the stars. And you do too. The stars tell you when to hunt, when to harvest, when to make war. WKTT. Because the world needs a powerful America to tell it what to do. Battle. That's amazing. Really? Absolutely. You saved a civilization that were worshipped as a god. There are statues of you in Tanzania, covered in pigeon shit. There is a man with bad teeth and dirty hair who has just urinated on you. I think you always sort of knew this. No, wait. The spirit world is fading. I'm going to hazard a guess. Your great, great grandmother is dead. Yes? How did you know? I'm just a mouth theory. The spirits speak through me. She's telling me something. Something about diamonds and true love. You got another credit card. The spirit world is telling me her first card bounced. No, please, just tell me about true love and the guy with the diamonds. Is it Tony McTony? I'd love to, dearie. Very secure. Yes. The ghost world is telling me that's a proof for up to $500. Now, $500 sounds like a lot. Wait. Wait. I'm getting something. You will meet him online. You should join an online dating service. Sleep with many men. Therein lies your prince. That's great. Well, but what about... No. This explains why his life will be marred by failure. Oh, that's horrible. How can you tell? That's all we've got time for, dearie. What? Good luck. Enjoy the diamonds. I remember. This is it!
Would you rather be Bob? It is... No, it's Michael! Exactly. That was a trick question. You were named after Saint Michael. No, I was named after my uncle died. Uncle Mike. I'm talking to him right now, Mike. He's visiting from the spirit world. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. He'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan complete. Come see me. Talk about step two. I thought he was in destruction. I'm going to need this. So we need to... Here we go. He and your mother... I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you're here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg! What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. Huh. Oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun.
different dimension. Will you do that? Um... I'm sorry. We must have a bad connection. Interference with the spirit world happens. Are you ready? What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook! Everybody's trying to fuck everybody! We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it! You giving them a nice little offer, go Skip? They ain't gonna turn up their nose at that! God, give me strength! It's like I'm dealing with children here! No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid! If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The manners work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask of them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, oh, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! You have arrived. Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. You know it is wrong, but you cannot help yourself. Oh my god, no! Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason.
Knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit down. Oh, I stole it. They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. All right, let's get these slime ball bastards. People like that give a guy a bad name. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. I didn't even send a fucking cop out. This is a declaration of war. The Pagarinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses. You heard it here first. I saw it through the scope of that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this group... Let them fucks have crashed! Go get my gift and make those pricks pay. Oh, you gotta go, Nico. I can't move with this bullet in my gut. We're gonna kill global warming once and for all, right? Here you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. You want to buy the t shirt and the program, the commemorative DVD we're making. Please proceed to highlight the view. Once we join together, I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. Pegorino names to mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't, an Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seem like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Global 
I need this. Are you fucking crazy? Show them what kind of I got Where you going, man? I do something special with that. Hey. Uh, who you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure, I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry, I I'm s Nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Ah, oh, fuck. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an Alderney bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. I can feel a very powerful force even before you spoke, the moon you were a woman with relationship troubles. Is your boyfriend the source of the turn? Turn right. Turn left. Then immediately left. left. Then immediately left. Turn right. What's your name, dear? Don't tell me. It's a girl's name. It begins with 200 yards. It's not right. Turn right. The spirits were telling me both. No, wait, Martina. In a past life, you were called Rosa. Yards. Turn right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Turn right. You are a great woman. I see breastplates of gold shining as one hundred yards. Turn left. In pigeon shit. There is a so, man. Hey. Okay, then, here we go. That's uh, that very kind of you. Knew this. No, wait. That guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet. I'd love to, dearie, but spirit dollars are devalued these days due to the world of hell. Besides, the immortal words need to be
should join an online thing in Sultus. Sleep with many men. But I am now just in the passageway between one world and the next, yelling and... Do you understand? Probably not. Some of you will hear good news. Some of you will hear bad news. All of you will hear the truth. So the guy that we're thinking is ridiculous because... Honestly, I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that all that is Pecorino term. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. Yeah, something up the ladder. Half how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Did you know that? No, I don't quite understand. I really have never been to Egypt of France. Please, don't bring science into it. Doubt is doubt everything. Exactly. Where can I take you? That was a trick question. Tinder bug. Oh, Fun okay, way to go. To Thank you. Guy. Uncle Mike. I'm talking to him right now. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven rings. Hey, Phil. Sure. What? Hey, now, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're wrecked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people. Expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. 
And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the enchiladas have a falling out. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. All right, this is the truck. It's Brandon Roberts. Wow, Brandon, you look great. Hey, thanks. I, I know, I really do. You know, it's great to be back on whatever show this is. This is great. Now, if you weren't a man of remarkable integrity, I'd say you had some work done there, Brandon. Nice t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, this t-shirt is part of our... Why we need this truck? It must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm giving. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. It's complicated. It's difficult to wrap your brain around. It's kind of like one of those Chinese symbols. But, you know, some days I get hand release while doing Tai Chi on the beach, and the next day I wear glasses and talk about suffering. Uh, I'm not gay, by the way. Uh, well, I'll well, well, just take a call then. Okay. Yeah, Brandon. Hey, I'm a big fan of your work, man. How you pretend to be other people and then spend all the rest of your time telling ordinary folk I live? It really inspires me. Um, oh, I'm a psychological liar. Yeah, whenever there's a natural disaster or anything, I try to show up and help make a point with photo ops how, how the government is really letting people down. You know, have I have nice more day. money and a bigger soul, and my goal in life is to prove it to everyone. You know, do some opera, drink some pomegranate juice. People don't have enough antioxidants. I worry about the prison industrial complex. I worry about the military industrial complex, the, the industrial industrial complex, the inferiority complex, obesity, fair trade gourmet coffee china uh, there are a lot of things being an actor has made me an expert on i understand pain i understand people's pain i am pain wow you're you are wound up brandon are, are you high oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this is it keep a cool head and everything should be fine i am high on life and my deity Shots of vodka? You go to him! <laughs> Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies. Fucking this! 
Handed yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later.
take this. Ah, oh, shit! So we need... I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here. You wanna hang out? Sure, kid. I'll be there in an hour. Wonderful! Where are you going, man? This is PLR. Let's Still get back. That. Here we are. The intelligence wrap. agenda. Okay, we're back on intelligence agenda. I'm Mike Wilde. Your parents were right to hate you. Don't make me hurt you. Yes. He's written the great American novel, and now he's about to solve hunger. So, Nicky, you and the pack is getting close, they see. He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. Maybe you want to pass something up to me. Pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but, uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. Okay, uh, Zach. Come on, you. Let's go. It's important we give everyone access to homeschooling. I don't know about that. I, I think community is very important. Yeah, I agree. I was really popular. I like this car. It's much better. Next time, do me a favor and don't wear the same clothes again. Now, now Zach, tell us about the plan to end hunger. It's quite simple, really. Almost facile. I looked at hunger as a supply and demand problem. Too many hungry people. Simple. Rather than reducing the number of hungry people, simply reduce the number of people using involuntary euthanasia for the weak and unfortunate and turn them into compost for our crops. It's simple. You want to kill people to reduce hunger? Absolutely. It's brilliant. It's barbaric. I blame video games. They're teaching our kids to solve hunger by slaughtering the weak. We should only slaughter the weak to win wars and sell guns to unjust governments we keep in power. I despise the government. The government's like a pop We should have moved. You know, they follow you around, and then when you mess up, they are on you. They are on you with a zoom lens. But my blog talks all about it. You can go to a friend. Okay, okay. Dude, Jesus, we must have a death wish. Another one? Another what? Another one like my brother's, the tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. So, uh, good night? I'm not asking you in. We're friends, nothing more. Goodbye, Kate. When they got sick, the wisdom was handed down from family to family. Mother, father, son. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? 
Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, it chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on. I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh. This one. I want to cuddle your wife. 
Frankie Garone sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw us is going to describe the Albanian you got on ice. Alright, nice work. I'll let Jimmy P know about it. I'll cut you in on anything he throws my way. I don't know how long I'm gonna be outside though. I feel like the cops might knock down my door any moment. Take me to the pen. Good luck with that, Jerry. Please, look after my family if I go inside. Open your stupid eyes! You're going to have to buy a new one of these, friends. It's the people's problems. You really talk like that? Hey, you know hey, what? Hey, buddy, don't sleep. We'll be there in no time. Together. You need to take a daily examination. A really thorough Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course, I mean, Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Hey, you can't go past here. City, I guess. Ah! Ah! Street, if you had gone to the 
doctor the day before and requested a prescription for a pill you saw on a TV commercial but don't know what it does. What it does is irrelevant. Ask your doctor for it. You'll find them under the sink, mixed together, drink problems solved. No bureaucracy. It's like my dad. I remember him telling me. Authenticate with this. Then they go to an offshore spirit world where it's always warm. Wait, I am seeing two eyes. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there either. Or anybody else I know for that matter. Fucking feds. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico.